Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this really really quick and simple tutorial I will be showing you how to crochet these beautiful little autumnal leaves. Now obviously they don't have to be autumnal colours, they're just what I've chosen to do here. But they are a really really quick project, you could turn them into a garland, you could make them into little decorations, joining them all together with the stems, you could make really really cute things. You could even chuck them all in a bowl with some battery operated fairy lights which would look absolutely amazing and really really seasonal I think. So they're like I say they're really quick to make. By my fourth or fifth one I timed myself and I made it in less than three minutes so they really are nice and quick once you get going. Now you can use absolutely any yarn that you like and just size down a little bit um, just so that your leaves don't have too many gaps. So I'm just using some DK and I'm going to use a three and a half millimetre instead of a four. So just a slight change. But you can create tiny, tiny leaves or much bigger leaves using this pattern. All you have to do is obviously change the hook size and you will be able to get different size leaves. So we'll be starting obviously with our slip knot straight onto the hook. And for this one you're going to do a chain of 11. So yarn over and pull through. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now that we've got our chain, we're going to do a UK double or US single into the third chain back from the hook. So one, two, and this is our third. So you'll insert your hook through that third chain, yarn over and pull up yarn over, pull through both and that is a UK double or US single. So we're going to be starting small, building taller stitches, getting small again. So we've done our first one, we then want to do a slightly bigger stitch so we're going to do a half treble crochet into the next chain. Again half treble UK, half double US. So yarn over, insert into that next chain, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. Into the next chain we're going to work two stitches so we're going to bulk it out a little bit so we're going to be doing two UK trebles or US doubles into the same chain so yarn over, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull up, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two so that's our first UK treble, yarn over again back into that very same chain that you've just worked and complete another treble and then we're going to be doing our tallest stitch into the next chain. So we're going to be doing a UK double treble or a US treble. So yarn over two times, insert into the next chain, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So these are our tallest stitches. So we're going to do two stitches again into the next chain. So we're going to do two double trebles into the next chain. So yarn over twice and complete your first one. And then again yarn over twice and back into the same chain and complete your... So we want another double treble into the next chain. So you've got a double treble and then two double trebles and then a double treble on its own. So you've got four double treble stitches. So we're going to work back down now. So we're going to do a UK treble into the next chain. Again that's US double. And then half treble into the next chain or half double in the US which is where you yarn over and pull through them all and then into your very final one you will do a UK double. So you've got your one last stitch here and you will work a UK double. So that's one half of your leaf completed as you can see. We then, this part is optional, you don't have to add a little stem to it if you don't want to, it's completely up to you, you can literally just start working straight up the other side. But if you do want to add a stem 
then you can do this any length that you want. I'm just going to do a chain of four. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to slip stitch back up those chains that you've just done. So always starting in the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops to create a slip stitch. And then you will just do a slip stitch into the next chains. It depends how many you've done, but like I say, I've just done four, so I will need to do three slip stitches to get back to my main body of my leaf. So you, you want to attach your little stem, so into that very final stitch where you worked your UK double, you're going to slip stitch into that same stitch just to join your little stem to the rest of your work. Okay, so at this point you're going to be mirroring what we have from one side to the other, except we will be starting with the UK half treble because we've worked those slip stitches so that kind of counts as our very first stitch of that, the next round. At this point you can be working over your tail so that you don't have to weave it in at the end. So you can see when we turn we've got the other halves of our chain stitches which is where I will be working. So we've worked this first one basically with that slip stitch. So the very next one that we're going to be doing will be this stitch just here. And that is the one that is going to be directly opposite the half treble on the way back down from earlier. So yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up and do your half treble. I'm working over my tail as you can see. And then we're going to move to our treble, or in the US this will be obviously your double. So complete your UK treble. And then we're at our really tall stitches. So it's the same as last time. You will do a double treble into the next chain. And then you will do two double trebles into the next. And then into your next chain, you will do a double treble on its own. And then a UK treble into the next. And another treble into that very same stitch. Because if you remember when we started earlier, we did two trebles, UK trebles in one of the stitches. And then a half treble into the next. We're getting very close to the end of this now. <laughs> Oops. And then we're going to finish on this very final stitch just here. You can see you've got one little stitch left to work and you will do your UK double or US single in that very final stitch. And then we just need to close off. So in that very end stitch, which is technically a skipped chain from the very beginning, you will just insert your hook through that final stitch and do a slip stitch. And then you can snip off and just pull that tail out. And obviously I've weaved in that starting tail so I can snip that one straight off. So I'll just have one tail to weave. And there you have a really sweet little leaf that can be used for all kinds of projects. So as I say, that is it. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this one and I will see you for another tutorial really, really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.